after 10 years of doing this, I found that policies need to reflect what you're doing in the clinic. So you don't have to make them real complicated. Just a really easy policy that we have is cleaning toys in the waiting room at night. So we state that, you know, in our policy. But then we have a process behind that of how we do it. It gets more detailed on who does it, what time they do it, what they use, all of that. So that's just kind of expanding the policy and putting a process. And then if you have to change that process, you can, but the policy is still what you're doing. We have our medical director look at it, we have our nurse practitioners look at that, we give it to our staff and then we implement it. But the process may change a little bit. You know, we may change the process, then if we have to change the policy, we'll do that. But for the most part, it states what we're doing and then it reflects what we're doing in the clinic. So um, putting together the manual, the policy and procedure manual was time consuming. It was, you know, what do we put in there? You kind of have to go through your whole clinic to kind of, this is the clinic, that policy and procedure manual is a clinic.